Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Montague Paratrooper Pro folding bike. Now at first you might be skeptical of a folding bike. You might be worried about how well it's going to hold up when you're riding it or how durable it's going to be during those rigorous riding conditions that you may encounter. Now Montague actually designed this bike with the help of the US military, hence the name Paratrooper. They wanted to design a compact bike that was going to be durable enough to endure those rigorous conditions and so that those airborne soldiers could jump out of the plane with this attached to them and when they, that way when they land on the ground they can get the bike folded out and ready to go. Now Montague makes a wide variety of folding bikes ranging from your more road bikes where you're going to ride it on pavement a lot more to your off-road mountain bikes. Our Paratrooper Pro is going to be great on off-roading but it's also going to be great for those occasional pavement rides should you be doing those. Now it's a full-size mountain bike that has that added benefit of it folding up so that you can conserve on storage space. I'll go ahead and do that for you right now. We'll start by putting down our rack stand. All we're going to do is pull up on that lever, push it out, then we can let it go all the way fall to the ground, and we're going to pick up the back end. It's going to sit right under the tire right there. Next, we're going to come up to the front tire and remove it. All we got to do is undo their patented click system. So we flip that up. We're going to actually pull right on that cylinder and then push as well, and then bring it right up and off. Now, we'll set this front tire to the side for now. We'll go ahead and set the two forks on the ground real quick. We're also going to have to fold down our fender. We can go ahead and do that as well. Just a little silver knob right here. We'll turn that. And we just pull it out and then it folds right down like that. Now we're going to come up to the middle of the frame and undo their clicks, quick release system. Once we flip the lever off, we're going to have to push up to get the latch to undo. Now an easy way to do this is I like to just flip it around, bring it all the way around. It'll just set right on top of that rack stand fold the handlebars in and bring it up. Then we're going to take this hook and loop strap all the way off. This strap will wrap around that front wheel and then you can just secure them both to make sure that it stays together. Now from here, just grab your front wheel. We'll hold it against our frame. We can pick it up and go store it wherever we need to. Now a couple of benefits to having a folding style bike are going to be one, you're not going to have to invest in a hitch mounted bike rack or a roof rack with a bike rack to be able to get your bike from point A to point B. Another is that it's going to conserve on storage space. If you live in an apartment building or a smaller house where you might not have space for a full size bike to store it without keeping it outside, it's going to be able to fold up into this compact size. You can just set it in the corner of your storage facility or even in your basement. Now the frame has an aircraft grade aluminum construction, so it's going to hold up to those tough off-road conditions that you might be taking it through. It's also going to be lightweight, which means it's easy to fold up and carry around to wherever you need it to be. It also comes in three different sizes. Montague has height recommendations for each size. Go ahead and check the description below to see if your height matches the size. And it's also going to have a five layer matte black anti-corrosion finish to help resist all that wear if you do leave it outside. Now one thing that makes Montague's bikes a bit superior to other folding bikes is that their hinge point where the bike folds is right in line with the seat post too. Some other bike companies might have it in the middle of the frame right here, which could compromise the weight distribution. If you think about it, when you're sitting on the bike, it's that seat post tube that's really taking all your weight when you're riding the bike. So it only makes sense to have that hinge point in line with it to make sure that the weight comes down through here and evenly distributes it throughout all the tubing. Now up top we're going to have Shimano's rapid fire trigger system for shifting. It's going to make for nice and easy transitions for if you need to go up or down depending on it, how much power you're going to need. You can see just clicking it goes right up. It's going to change gears very effectively. Up back in the back we're going to have a nine speed gear shift and up front on the other side we're going to have three speeds totaling 27. Now up front we're going to have Shimano's Acero derailleur just going to make for nice and easy transitions when you're trying to shift up or down. While in the back we're going to have Shimano's Dior derailleur, again it's just going to do a great job of making sure you have nice and smooth transitions when you're trying to shift up or down. Now with the rack stand up, I can actually show you guys the efficiency of those derailleurs. So go ahead and start pedaling. We'll start up the front. You can just see as soon as I transition it, it goes up to the next gear. We'll go back down. Very quick. Just going to make for a nice and smooth ride. Now here on the back again, just nice and easy transitions. It's really important to have those nice and smooth transitions because if you're ever mountain biking and you need to downshift to go up a hill, you don't want to have any delay. 
Now one add-on we want to mention that we have on our Paratrooper Pro is the folding pedals from Montague. Again, these are sold separately here at eTrailer. Just a nice and easy way. Just fold the pedals up, conserve a little bit more space when you're folding it up, could make all the difference. Now we're also going to have two fenders, one on the front wheel and one on the back. Those are just a nice additions for the bike to make sure that it's not throwing up a bunch of mud and dirt on you while you're riding. It's easily removable if you don't want it on there and you can fold it down when, the re when you're folding the bike up. All you have to do is loosen that knob and it folds right down. Now the fender on the back is actually going to be integrated onto the rack stand and again it's just going to help prevent a lot of rock and dirt being thrown up. Now we're going to have a Sun Tour lockout suspension system. So it's going to be great for taking in a lot of that impact when you're off-roading. The great thing about the lockout feature of this is that when you're going for those occasional pavement rides, you can lock it out completely so that the suspension doesn't take away the energy you're using to pedal hard. For example, right here, we have it not unlocked right now. You can see pushing down, so absorbing a lot of the impact. As you tighten it up, you can actually adjust it for the, ride, the terrain you're actually going on. So if you're going on not necessarily smooth terrain like pavement, but it's still going to be a little bit rocky, you can adjust it to where it's not going to take a, as much as your impact. And then when you lock it out completely for those pavement trips, you can see right now, it's not taking any impact. So you're not going to be wasting that energy. Now we're going to have a set of mechanical disc brakes on our Paratrooper Pro. This is going to be a bit of an upgrade from those pad brakes. Just gives you more braking power while you're riding through that rough terrain. And it's also going to be an advantage for if you're in some wet conditions. If you ride through a stream or something like that, those pads can get a little bit slippery and compromise your braking power. With disc brakes, you don't got to worry about that. Now we're also going to have an Aero Mountain adjustable height saddle. So you can just undo that lever, raise or lower the height depending on what you want to be sitting at for your ride. Now I've been riding this bike around a lot today. It just proves to be very solid. The folding is not an issue with me anymore. I was skeptical about it first, but now I just know it's going to be a very solid ride and it's really just going to get the job done. I guess one thing if, you do, if I do want to be nitpicky about it is that the seat is a little bit uncomfortable at times if you're riding it for the full duration of the day, but you could always upgrade to a padded seat or if it just doesn't bother you, then you don't got to worry about it. When I'm all done, I'm just going to throw it in the back of my vehicle and I'm ready to hit the road. Thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for a look at the Paratrooper Pro folding bike from Montague.